My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of ripes are stored. He has loosed the fateful lightning of his terrible sweet sword. He is true. He is mashing glory, glory, hallelujah. It's a very difficult and emotional time. But I want to say something briefly before my time expires. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 1, to everything there is season, a time for every purpose 
under heaven. I want to talk briefly on the borrowed life. Life is borrowed. As much as God has given us liberty to do so many things with it, there are conditions and limitations set out by the master of life. But unfortunately, one thing that men, or it is in the power of men to do, is in that second, beyond the second is a mystery. And many of us have plans and ideas. But in as much as we have all these plans, there is someone that we should answer to. When a man that designed a TV, he put a little booklet next to it. You will operate it successfully when you follow that map of that TV. Before a house is built, there is a plan to build that house according to that plan. Deviating from it may cause a terrible problem. A person that created the cell phone has given us a map. A little manual that we can read on how to operate it. And where did they learn it from? If it not from the mother, the author of life, the master of the universe, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He did not create the mankind and left him in the voidness of this land or this earth. He gave him a book. Say, my children, read it successfully. Follow it successfully, you will come to where I am. But men, we use our little brains in our head. And then we reason with God the maker. But we are ready to obey the instructions of the TV on how to operate it. We are ready to operate and follow all the instructions given by men. But the divine instructions, we throw them away with all kind of debates, religious reasoning, mindsets and beliefs. But all this, no matter how you have rejected God at the beginning, you're going to find him at the end. And you better accept him in the beginning so that at the end you are with him. God is not a child that we should play with him. He's not a toy to play around with. He is so merciful in his way. He has given us this life. But none of us know when it will be taken from us. And many of us have so many plans and ideas to go and do. But all those plans can never arise can never rewrite or stop the plans of the author of life. When that time comes, you will go wherever you are. And I have come during my years of pastoring, I have seen people go to bed and never wake. I have seen people who plan to go to work and never return. I have seen people who go for the event with so much to go and do there and never make it. Let us come to conclusion that life is not in your hand to play the way you want. There is someone that gave you that life and that one will not reason or debate the length of days that are left for each and every one of us. So while we have a day, as we have many of us are going to sleep today, let us be conscious of one thing, that someone has gone to bed and never see the light of day. So as you go to bed tonight, repent of every sin you have sinned. 
Ask the Lord Jesus to come in your heart and forgive you for every act of sin. Because thinking that tomorrow you will wake up and do whatever you planned, we have seen and we have heard that is not so. Sometime tomorrow never come. But what if that tomorrow your life is taken? You can't work for ShopRite and get your payment from pick and pay. If you reject God on earth, you can't accept him after death. Receive him while you are alive. Repent while you are alive. The grace to forgive is, a, is in abundance. But after death is judgment. And when that time comes, it is a time for us to get the fruits of our work on this planet Earth. So what am I saying to conclude? Life is not, we are not given power to define life. The maker of it has the final say. I can only do that within the limit of time that I'm given to do. But tomorrow is a mystery. And the master of life will have the final say on my life. Whether I reject him now does not change the existence of God. He remains God without you and without me. While we have this time, let's seek him by night. Let's seek him by day. So that when my time comes, now you will go to the place he has already prepared for you. Our brother had plans. He was traveling. But life, you only know the second when life is in you. Beyond the second, you know nothing. Instead of me talking to him, he is not here. I rather talk to the living. That when our time comes, our souls are ready to meet the Savior. Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? Will you be ready? Lord Jesus, comfort each and every one of you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <laughs>